If you are having problems with your audio in Discord, such as your microphone not picking up sound properly, or it seems to cut out a lot, then continue watching this video, as I will go over some easy fixes to some very common issues. Now, this video will be split into five parts. Part one will basically be spark notes for those people that are pretty familiar with Discord and know what input and output devices are, as well as how to set them up. In part two, I will demonstrate how to use a Discord call to help figure out what's going wrong. Part three will go over how to select your input and output devices, also known as recording and playback devices, within Windows 10, and how you can know what device is set as default. Part 4 will be a longer explanation of some of the important voice settings in Discord and what they do. And Part 5 will be a final checklist for remembering what steps to take when fixing an audio problem. I think for most people, Part 1 and maybe Part 2 will be all you need. Okay, ready? Here we go. Part 1. Spark Notes. Open Discord. Go to user settings, then voice and video, and then hit the reset voice settings button and click OK. That usually fixes issues when my mic isn't picking up. Now after you reset the voice settings, go up here and turn off the option to automatically determine input sensitivity, and then personally I set it to negative 60 dB, but you may want to set it higher or lower depending on preference. By default, Discord sets determine input sensitivity to automatic, which, from my experience, causes you to keep cutting in and out when you are speaking. As a side note, each time you reset the voice settings, your input sensitivity will be reset to automatic, so you'll have to go and change it again. For me, resetting the voice settings and making sure the mic sensitivity is not set to automatic has fixed basically all of the issues on my end. Part 2. Discord Call Demonstration on the screen now, you are seeing an example of a Discord call I did with my brother, but I have muted the sound from the call itself. When you are in a call, you will see an icon for you and anyone else in the call. Whenever somebody talks, their icon will have a green circle around it, which indicates that Discord is picking up sound from that person's mic. Most of the time, this simple fact can greatly help you figure out what is going wrong within a Discord call. For instance, if my icon has a green circle when I talk, but my brother can't hear me, there is probably an issue with his speakers or headphones. Or if I am talking and my icon does not have a green circle when I speak, then my microphone is having issues. Those are only a couple of examples, but hopefully you understand the method for determining the issue. Part 3. Selecting your default input and output devices within Windows. In Windows 10, you can do this by right-clicking the sound icon in the bottom right-hand corner of the screen, and then selecting the Recording Devices option from the menu to arrive at the Recording section of the sound window. Another way to get here is by typing Sound into the Cortana search bar at the bottom left-hand corner of the screen, click the option that says Sound Control Panel, then click the Recording tab. Now this is where your input devices are, so your microphone should be listed, assuming it's plugged in. Make sure the microphone you want to use is the default device. You can do this by simply left clicking on the device you want to use and then click the button down here that says set default. You will know the device is selected as default because it will have a green check mark in its icon as well as saying default device in the description. You will know your mic is picking up sound when the bar right here shows some green when you talk into it. If you are having issues with the microphone being too quiet or too loud, you can right click on it, select the properties option, and then go to the levels tab. You can adjust this slider to make your microphone louder or quieter. Unfortunately, your mic may still be too quiet even after setting the slider to maximum. I had that issue and I found a free program that fixed it. There's a link to a tutorial that goes over where you can get that program and how to set it up in the description of this video. Now go ahead and close out of this microphone properties window if you have it open and click the playback tab within the sound window. This is where your output devices are. Then click on the device you want to use and click the set default button down here. It's the same process I just showed you when setting the microphone as default device. 
Now, it's important to make sure the correct thing is set as default because if, for example, you have headphones and speakers plugged in at the same time, but your speakers are set as default, then sound will always come out of your speakers instead of your headphones. However, if you set your headphones as default, the sound should only come out of the headphones, and then when you unplug the headphones, your computer should automatically switch the speakers back to default until you plug in headphones again. Part 4. Important Voice Settings in Discord Okay, now this time I'm going to start over from the beginning with the Discord stuff and go into a bit more detail. So go ahead and open up Discord. Click on the User Settings option down here and click on Voice and Video on the side here. Now make sure your input and output devices are set correctly. Input device being your microphone and output device being your speakers or headphones. If you followed part 3 of this video, then selecting the default device should be good. Now, there are a couple of bars labeled input volume and output volume. The bar for the input volume will adjust how loud your microphone will be to other people you are talking to within Discord, and the output volume will determine how loud other people's voices will be in your headphones or speakers. I personally have both of these bars set to 100%, but you may want to adjust these, especially the output volume if the people you are talking to are too loud or too quiet. If other people complain your voice is too loud or too quiet, try adjusting the input volume. Now the next two boxes are for voice activity and press to talk. Voice activity means your microphone will be listening for noise at all times and press to talk means that you will have to hold down a specific key on your keyboard in order for your mic to listen for noise. I personally use and recommend that you check the voice activity box and leave the push to talk box unchecked. Now this next section is for input sensitivity. This is really important so pay attention. If you have the voice activity box checked, then this section will allow you to determine when the microphone actually picks up your voice and when it stays silent. If this button right here is turned on, meaning the button is blue and the bar down here is gray, then Discord will automatically determine when your mic will pick up sound. If it is turned off, meaning the button is gray and the bar down here will be green and orange, then you will be given manual control of when there is enough noise for your mic to start picking it up. From my experience, Discord doesn't do a great job with automatically determining your input sensitivity, so I highly recommend turning this button off. Now this bar down here is where you adjust how much noise is needed before your mic starts picking up sound. The further you click and drag this white slider to the left, the less noise will be needed. Conversely, dragging the slider to the right means more noise will be needed. Personally, I have the slider set at negative 60 dB, but you may want to adjust it somewhere else depending on your preference. The last thing in the settings that I want to go over is this button down here, which says Reset Voice Settings. If you ever have an issue where your microphone isn't picking up sound at all within Discord, I recommend clicking this button and then clicking OK. This seems to fix glitches for me all the time. However, if you reset the voice settings, the button to automatically determine sensitivity will be turned on, and you will have to turn it off again. Part 5. Final Checklist slash Summary Step 1. Use the green circles around icons in a Discord call to narrow down what the issue is. Step 2. Click the Reset Voice Settings button within the Discord settings and then turn off the button for automatically determining sensitivity. Step 3. Make sure your input devices and output devices are set correctly within the Discord settings. Step 4. Make sure everything is physically plugged in correctly. Step 5. Make sure you have the correct thing set as default device within the sound options in Windows, as shown in Part 3. That's it from me. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day.